The UK government has made a decision on the security of its 5G, deciding high-risk vendors will be excluded from 5G core parts and that there will be a 35% cap on high-risk vendor access to non-sensitive uh, parts. Uh, joining us now for more is Bloomberg's uh, Alex Webb. Alex, walk us through uh, what we just learned. So we knew that the government was going to make a decision, uh, particularly when they talk about high-risk vendors, they're talking about two companies. That's Huawei and ZTE, both Chinese companies. And the extent to which um, operators, uh, telecoms operators in the UK, are able to use equipment from these companies in their networks. And when we think about networks, it's really about 5G, the next generation of mobile telephony. Uh, and Huawei has the lead in this market, has some of the best technology and is the biggest player. So there's been a constant push and pull on the one hand, the U.S. saying we don't think the U.K. should be able to use this because it exposes them to threats from China. But on the other hand, threats from China itself and then the carriers saying they want to be able to build the best networks. They also want to be able to do them cheaply. And taking Huawei out of that process would mean there are just two players left, Nokia and Ericsson, and that duopoly would have created real price pressure and increased the cost and therefore possibly the time it takes for the rollout of those 5G networks. We now have a decision saying they won't be able to use in the core, which is the most sensitive part of the network, but they will be able to be used to a certain extent in the antenna, in the radio access network, which is um, less vulnerable to attack.